Oh, we done started some shit now. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Jeez, what a douchebag. Why is everybody such douchebags at this school? I thought it was supposed to be like an uplifting academy, teaching people how to do photographs. Okay, I'm walking out of here. Everybody wants to be a douche. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, this is a tough choice. I hate choices like these. I'm going to hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. No, or maybe we can just go outside the door and act like nothing ever happened. This is a beautiful, like, this is a beautiful area, but it's such a small school. Like, I've seen so many bigger academies, but then again, I don't know. I've never been to, like, a traditional school or university or anything like that. I've always been to, like, these weird different schools, so I don't know much about this life. I dreamed of this kind of Rachel life. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Missing from Arcadia Bay, date missing, Ma uh, I'm sorry, Monday, April 22nd, 2013. Age is 19 years old. She's five foot five, 110 pounds, hair blonde, hazel eyes, tattoo on calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of her left wrist. Please call with any information. Arcadia Bay Share 555-388-6020. That really sucks. Especially if she was like a student here. That's, that's there's nothing worse than finding out like your friend in school is missing or has passed away. That's that is awful. And it, and there's like just a ton of these pictures. Like like jeez, man, you couldn't get any more like sad than this. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. <laughs> All these kids, they're just like, fire alarm, we're not doing shit. Most of the time when we had fire alarms, we just went home. <laughs> it's just like, we just snuck home. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Damn. 
Man, the bitchiness today. Wow. People are just like on edge. Oh, a message from Warren. Hello? Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Oh, okay. Oh, my camera will be ready. Okay. okay I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Talk about fire alarm and after school specials. Where is this parking lot, sir? I am off to see this Warren with my camera in a parking lot. <laughs> Nothing lewd about this. This is so weird in my perspective. Like, I, I feel uncomfortable saying I'm going to meet Warren in a parking lot. <laughs> but this is... This is the game. It's not me. Come on, Logan. Bring it, bro. Bring it, bro. Throw the football. Yeah. yeah. That's a varsity jacket douche. That's his new name. I don't know what his name is. I need to go to my is. room and return Warren's flash drive. I know he said his name, but I'm not paying attention. I'm just going to call him the varsity jacket douche. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord. Nathan's family owns my dorm? And it's not my fault. It's not like I want to call him the varsity jacket douche. It's just that they paint him in this picture of uh, stereotypical derogatory ways. Like, he could have had, like, a regular t-shirt on and just been a douche, but they decided to put a varsity jacket on him. Because it's, I guess it's typical tradition to be seen that way. Oh, Victoria, hello. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Oh, shit. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now. Why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Oh my gosh, she is just like full of savagery. But the one thing that kind of threw me off is that she paid, she's paying for like a $5,000 camera and she takes like an embarrassing photo or a non-embarrassing photo of you with a camera phone. Not to like discredit any camera phones, but um, you know, that's usually like the the point and click of our time, so I wonder what this does. What the hell? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nobody told you to wear cashmere to school. I know people who just wore pajamas to school. It's not like they going there for a fashion show this isn't high school anymore hello Victoria sorry no paparazzi allowed okay that was like hinting hinting that I should like do something about that I'm trying to remember what is it that I was supposed to do Okay. what was it that I was supposed to do I'm going to rewind. Um, okay. Oh, so they're still sitting. Um, so I guess I got to go up the ladder before he shows up. Okay, yeah. Tamper with the bucket. Then turn on the water holes to like an even higher pressure. Okay, let's see if this works. Like, Max is such a nice... She's a nice savage. That's the word of this whole episode. It's just like savagery. Let's mess up her cashmere. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Water on my cashmere. 
Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Sweet. Now let's watch the games begin. Be careful there, Samuel. You might want to check that lid. No way! Oh! No fucking you okay, way. Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Dude. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Oof. And, Sa and Samuel, he just like walked away. He's like, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Like he didn't, he didn't give no consideration about him being written up or getting fired. He was just like, eh, whatever. This shit happens all the time. <laughs> Well, 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 Victoria, it seems like you are in a sticky situation. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Hmm. It's a tough one. Because it's, it's fun, or I could be the bigger person. But in the sake of entertainment, I'm not going to be the bigger person. I'm going to be... It's the douche. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. What does Nathan have to do Maybe with Maybe I all shouldn't this? have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. No, don't feel guilty now. The choice is yours. And I'm not going back in time. I don't take back what I say. If you're going to go full douche, do it. Don't give yourself that option to go back in time. Hurry, Courtney. That's right, ladies. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Go clean up, you little bitch. <laughs> She started it. She made this war. I didn't ask for this, like Deus Ex used to say. Or, uh, what's his name? Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Oh, look at the little teddy bear. Ooh, a note. Is it from Warren? Warren even left me a little <laughs> message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. I knew it was from Warren. How did I just like randomly say, is it from Warren? The cinematic context of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congregate you on your taste and eagerly wait your in-depth review of Cannibal, Holocaust, and Ultra Vixens. Man, this guy is like, he is a scholar. I'm about to check my iPhone and see what some of those words meant. Oh, message from mom. Hi, honey. Your principal sent me an email saying that he is concerned about your attitude and behavior, that you are not fitting in well and hiding in your dorm. I know what is she, is she putting periods in between this <laughs> and hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home, even if you are grown up now, but you are there to change the world with your camera please call okay period right there please call me as soon please call me soon to chat we will miss you exo mommy like she's she's like one of those parents who like sends text messages like dear son <laughs> this is mother just wanted to see how you were doing philip Lorca de corsha my man i don't think i could take my camera to those places Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I love her, like, passion in photography. She's really, like, very technical about how she does her work. I look so pathetic. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. 
I'm sorry. I just saw the word porn and I was like, wait a minute. Can you do that using the Wi-Fi's of like Academy servers? That would be terrible. Then I saw the word camera porn. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. <laughs> Is it friend or just chilling partner? This guy is like obsessed with you, Max. You really need to talk to him. Oh, I need to water my plants. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I hope that's like distilled water and not like sparkly. <laughs> if I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Varsity douche. Where's the other one at? I can't see him. Is he like throwing it at nobody? Oh, I see him. He's like right there. I was about to say like, he's just randomly throwing it and the ball is returning to him somehow. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I'm trying to like focus, but it won't let me look at it. Okay. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now, but I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I see that. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine. Apparently it's her birthday. I keep seeing these messages everywhere. It's like, why are they sending me birthday messages? I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Why is everybody sending me birthday stuff? Is it my birthday? It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Uh, that looks more like, like contour drawing. Forgive me, I'm not a fine artist. I, I took like a couple of classes and then I haven't been back. So <laughs> I'm gonna lie down for a minute. Okay, and it's time to get up. That's how my life goes every day. I'm like, just eh, lie down for a minute. Okay, and it's time to go back to work because that's all I do. I need to grab a flash drive on my desk before I see Warren. Oh, yeah, duh. Where is the little flashy drivey? Is this another message from Warren? Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while studying. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Really? You just walked into my room and just Great. took my stuff. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Do they have locks on these dorms? Apparently not because I don't see any kind of lock on here. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Damn. Well, that's just perfect. That makes life a lot more harder. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. I just want to get my flash drive. So stupid. Answer, you wuss. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room what because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Uh-oh. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, okay, you got me there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pick, like, the coolest last name. Olsen, like the Olsen twins. Julia Olsen. Juliet... Ju Juliet Olsen. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Damn Juliet it. Watson. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go back in time. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Okay, Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. 
You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, so damn gullible. As soon as you said Victoria, Victoria that just negated I no anything I about. believed in you. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Ugh. Oh, great. Now, okay. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. <sighs> so, should I go look for Victoria? Because I, I gotta get my USB flash drive. Can't leave just no yet. No need to go there now. Oh, okay. Let's go in Victoria's room since she she is currently dealing with a paint situation. And she just left her door. Oh, her friends left her door open. That's right. They are terrible assistants. They are like terrible interns to Victoria. Okay. Those boots are made for walking runways. Dior, Givenchy... You could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Hell yeah. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Okay, with the long stuff, you know my usual if you've been following me since three years ago. You can pause to read because some of this stuff I'm not going to read. Okay, Mrs. Person's poster. Victoria hates Rachel Damn. Amber this much? How insecure. Oh my god, like really? That is that is really fucked up, seriously. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. That is that is just terrible. Like I get wow, I just you just lose so much respect for people like that. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. She is just like the worst instigator. Just the worst shit starter ever. Okay, I'm gonna need to print this out. Because that's apparently what we only use printers for nowadays. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I mean, why would it not? It has every piece of evidence you're looking for. Can I, like, steal something from her? Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. That is awesome. I wish I had a 3D printer. Every time something will break, I can just fix it She's myself. actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. Woo! We appreciate your effort and wish you success in your future endeavors. Jeez. Burn, bitch. Okay, let's go get my USB flash drive because I have to go see Warren with my camera in the parking lot. That is not provocative in any kind of way. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay, now my next question is, why does Almost this- Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. 
why does the door lock on the inside? That made no sense. I'm not going to question the ethics of this academy, so I'm just going to It would get be my a flash cool sticker drive. without the words. Where is my flash drive? There it is. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Oh, I see what you did there, Lord of the Rings. That's that's funny. Cute. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Uh, what makes you think that? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Oh, there's a file? Can I, like, take this back to my room? Run, girl, run! Warren has left me a secret message that the bitch has obviously gotten to before me. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Are you going to read it? Can I read it? I, Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend. Read it! I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Oh, you suck, Max. You could have read it. <sighs> Fine. We'll just wait then.